everyone it's already september and this is again your one and only eqd vlogs we're done with our lesson 12 and lesson 13 in english obviously this vlog is the lesson 14 entitled possessives so, possessive they have no oh no everyone kidding aside move to the proper lecture of the lesson 14 entitled processes with further ado da -da -da, lecture hold up yeah. now possessives are words that indicate ownership or belonging the possessives will be shown as example sentence 1 and example sentence 2 that will be flashed in your screens. Kindly look at your screens. Example number 1. I sold my car. Example number 2. Betty's neighbor is an architect. Notice that in the sentence 1, there is an underlined word. And the underlined word is my. In circle. Sentence number two. There's also an underlined word. And the underlined word is Betty's. In the sentence, Betty's neighbor is an architect. Now I'm telling you that the possessive in sentence one is called a possessive pronoun. And what again? The possessive pronoun in sentence one, it's my. The possessive in sentence two is called a possessive pronoun. Let's go back to sentence two. Betty's neighbor is an architect. What's being underlined is the word Betty's. Now, in this case, Betty's or Betty apostrophe s is considered as possessive proper noun. Why possessive proper noun? Because proper noun, specific name of the person. Instead of saying, the lady's neighbor is an architect, sentence two is stated as Betty's neighbor. Betty's is a specific name of a woman, which is a proper noun, so possessive proper noun also notice that just like articles and demonstratives possessive pronouns and possessive proper nouns can appear directly before a noun again name of places person place or events that's noun and do not forget that one now we will discuss separately what is possessive pronouns there are just a few possessive pronouns that function also as determiners in the sentence these are referred to as possessive proper nouns with determiner function or possessive adjectives we will call it simply determiner possessive pronouns now do not forget that Cambridge English Grammar Quick Tip 14.1 will tell you again that the determiner possessive pronouns are the following my your his her its our and their those things I'm saying are what we call as determiner possessive pronouns. Again, determiner possessive pronouns that include my, my house, your, you're the owner, his, he's the man I love, her, her mother is beautiful, it's, it's Christmas season. Our, our family is a Christian family and their, their family background 
is a wealthy family. So again, English quick tip 14.1 in English grammar will remind you that there are determiner possessive pronouns consist of my, your, his, her, its, our, and their. And there's still, now let's go to testing your learnings for the day via example assessments 1 to 5. Now everyone to test your learnings for the lesson 14, which is possessives, our lesson for today via this vlog. Let us move to the assessment part, test yourself 14.1. The direction, determine the possessive pronoun in every sentences that I will be providing. So sentences 1 to 5 will be the practice sentence assessment so that as we move to sentences 6 to 10, it's no longer difficult for you to identify possessive pronoun in the sentences I'll be giving. Sample, my school won the state championship last year. Notice that there is an underlined word in sentence example and the underlined word is my. Logically, that's the possessive pronoun in the provided sentence. With further ado, let's go to sentences 1 to 5, which is the practice sentence assessment. Sentence 1. His face always shows what he's thinking. So determine what's the possessive pronoun in sentence 1. Simply, his. Sentence 2. We go to their house in the mountains every summer. What's the possessive pronoun in sentence 2? That's there. Sentence 3. It took three days for your letter to get here. The answer, it. Sentence 4. We like her mother. The possessive pronoun in sentence 4. Her. And last sentence, our product is superior to what you have to offer. The possessive pronoun in sentence 5 is R. Let's move ahead to sentences 6 to 10 for you alone to answer. Number 6. The price of the stock that I am considering buying does not reflect its true worth. So what's the possessive pronoun? Pronoun is sentence 6. Sentence 7. Would you like to take a ride in your new car? Sentence 8. Friends, I will be counting on your votes. Oh, no. Number 9. The children went to the movies together with their father. Very obvious. Sentence 10. Matt does not share his feelings easily. It's message of Jim and Atalum and Secretary. Which is good. Everyone, I hope you learned best. Now, our lesson for today, lesson 14, possessives. And again, this is your one and only EQD Vlogs. Greeting you in advance. Merry Christmas, for it's already September. And when I speak of Vermont, dali na kayong adlaw. Igmata ninyo. Pasko na. So, everyone, let me greet you advance. Merry Christmas for the year 2021. Please share, like, and keep watching this vlog without skipping the advertisements. Everyone, again, advance Merry Christmas.